Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how you can take a photo and apply some digital snow. So to start with for this tutorial, I've got my photograph here. Hopefully you've got yours. And you'll want to download some snow brushes. Now I'm not joking, you can honestly get brushes that work in Photoshop for anything. You can get floral swirls, butterflies, blood splatters, grunge textures. If you go onto Google or another search engine and just type in Photoshop brushes and then what you want. So in this case, Photoshop brushes snow, you'll get hundreds, thousands of different results. Many of these will be free, free to use. And some of them you may need to pay for, which is absolutely fine. But if you download some of those, they should be .abr files. And then you can select your brush tool Go up to this drop down where all your brushes are. You can see my custom brushes here. Go up to this little cog icon, and then you just select that, click load brushes, and then locate the ABR files. And that will pull them in here, and you can browse all your different brushes here. So jump onto Google, search for Photoshop snow brushes, download the brushes, load them in, and then you can select them in Photoshop. You may need to restart Photoshop just to get it to get them to activate. Okay, so you should have your brushes there. Now this makes it considerably easy to apply a snow effect to a photo. So we can start by creating a new layer. For our snow, we're obviously going to have white selected. And if you select the brush tool, and then make sure you've got the desired brush selected and we're just going to tap a little bit around the screen. Now you can use the square brackets to make the brushes smaller or larger. So if you wanted some snow that's a bit further in the distance, you can make the brush a lot smaller and just dot lots of spatters around. There we go. can probably hear me tapping on my tablet pen so it's good to it's good to mix up the sizing as well because it just makes the scene look a little bit more believable okay so we've got plenty of snow there what you can do now this is optional is you can apply a layer mask down here and then with the same brush selected and black selected as well because black will cut into the mask you can then use this same brush to brush away. So this will kind of knock out bits of what you've just drawn. So we've drawn the snow, and now we're kind of using the snow brush to erase some of that snow, just a little bit. It won't actually totally remove it. It just kind of cuts into it a little bit and just makes it a little bit, a little bit rougher around the edges, just thins it out a little bit. So you could stop there if you were happy with that. We're going to create a new layer, however, and with our snow brush again, we're going to make it really big. So we're going to create the illusion that this is our scene with the snow in the distance, but there is some snow that the camera is picking up that is a bit closer to us. So we'll just make that brush nice and big. Maybe even a bit bigger than that. And we're gonna go bigger again. Okay, we're at the maximum size, 5,000. So I actually want to go bigger than that. So I'm just going to zoom out and then go edit and free transform. And then I'm just going to bring this up. There we go. Now, as you can see, I've made the brush considerably larger than it actually is. So it will pixelate a little bit around the edge. You don't really notice it here, but just to just to tidy up a little bit so it's not noticeable at all, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And I'm just going to add just a slight blur. Maybe a little bit more. So something like this, just so it doesn't take the focus away from the image, because remember we want this snow to be closer to the camera, but the, the 
photo of the mountain in the background is what's in focus so we don't want the snow that's close to us to be in focus and then again I'm going to create a mask and using that same brush I'm just going to just chip away little bits of it and then I'm going to right click this and convert it to a smart object so it, it finalizes that part of the composition and then I'm just going to blur it again maybe a little bit less this time because it has already been blurred it just tidies up those rough edges that I was just working on and there we go we've added snow to a scene using brushes in Adobe Photoshop as always guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please hit that like button share and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time take care Thank you.